Hello everyone and welcome back to the realm and the wonderful world of Crusader Kings 2 Warhammer. Once again we are using the awesome mod Geheimnisnacht and in case you don't know, my name is Burton and I don't speak German. So come and join us in my kingdom of Nagarath for I am the Witch King Malaketh and my rule is righteous. Lands to the south have already bent the knee, their opposition is in ruins. And now we turn our might towards Abiskar. The Lord there, as you can see, is called Duri. Now good old Duris doesn't know what's about to hit him. Now this Lord dares to oppose my dominion, their lands are ours already. They are just too foolish to realise that they've already lost. Last time we had an announcement, a wedding announcement. My mother, Marathi, the fear that she uh, can invoke in the hearts of others is most impressive. She's a famous hag sorceress and now she is my wife. She's one of the most powerful users of the dark delights of the Ha, and she has struck many, I mean many, a demonic pact with the most vilest of creatures. In fact it was her time with the Chaos Worshippers that began the taint and this later led to the creation of the insidious cult of pleasure. Now we talked a little bit about that last time, but what you might not know is this creation of the cult would later be my supposed motive for executing many of my rivals back over in the homeland here. This eventually led to the Elven Civil War and our defeat where we were cast aside. Now after myself, my mother is the most powerful Dark Elf in all of Nagarath. Now she was born to scheming and politics and she has spent thousands of years teaching me all she knows of statecraft and magic. And she works to maintain my grip on the throne of Nagarath. So we are secure, we are strong, she has taught me everything she knows. However, I have no idea how to craft a magic item. Haven't got a clue. So let's get back into the game, shall we? So we've got two armies. We are currently besieging um, this land here in Kagroth. Um, that is going well. That is the main force that we have there. And we've also got a side force that's going to be going up to Storag Core. So we're going to be pushing. As we said last time, we've had long rain happen to us, which is good. Um, let's have a look at the siege itself. So they've got a small amount of defenders. We could probably actually storm that and still be good. Um, yeah, I think we're going to do that. So that's just cost us about 600 men or slightly more. So we'll take it a little bit easy just in case they have a hidden force. Well, just as I say that, it's not hidden anymore. Storag Court is now under siege. Once again, crazy nice artwork there, I like it. We have to think about where we're going to go next after this. Uh, bandits have raided siege camps outside Alan Cast. And also we're going to have to start generating some more revenue now because in case you don't know, we deal in slaves. The last time we briefly covered on what we actually deal with. So I think I'm a bit of a slave pimp in a way because if you like a little bit of elf slaves, I can get you one of them. Or even a human. Fancy a human? Oh. Are you short in stature and prefer a dwarf? Oh, we can get you one of them. Um, so we do have a lot of options there. We need the money first. Um, and we need to obviously... Dwarf slaves zero is at least one. Okay, we need to have a look into the slavery system a little bit later on. For now, we're not going to go too much into it. Victory of Anonclast. Brilliant. So I take it that is up here. Oh, what is this? The dragon bows of longships have been sighted off the coast of Harvasic, as Vikings under the fierce heathen war chief. B What's he called? Big Tooth. Nice. Begin to pillage and loot the country. Where the hell is this? How dare you! Wow. Oh. This shall be remembered. We will not stand for this. Quickly! 
to the boat stint. They're very cheeky, they're attacking one of the most powerful places in in this side of the world. With 145, while well, we will not have that, the raiders of Ilromel will suffer. So that is uh, what's going on up there. We're going to have to have a look to the south soon because we have some more lands we need to take. Um, but let's uh, let's focus on the war. After we have a look at the wall, we're going to have a quick look at our court as well and see what we actually have to play with. Hmm, so there's some little schemes going on here. Let's move these to take out the main one. I, of course, am leading at the centre. We have Orphan Tear at our side. Um, Orphan Tear is, uh, well, he's an Impaler. I like the man already. So, uh... I don't know too much about these characters. We've engaged in the battle. It is going to be a very short battle indeed. And in fact, the attack is now over. We're besieging and we've got ourselves a prisoner. We've got Priest Ithar. Um, oh, you're not pretty at all. We're not going to take you as a concubine. Shall we ransom? How much will that get? 25 gold. There we go. We will take that straight away. Now it looks like our little attack has got the attention down here of uh, Juris himself, so he is actually moving north to uh, to meet us. They have wisely paid the fee. And so this might be a good time just to pause things up here and just put some notable characters. We're going to be watching the people and all thing. Um, especially the High King. We will keep an eye on this man. And we'll keep an eye on the High Queen as well. I'm also interested to see what's going on with the Greenskins. So, Warboss Taugok? I think that's how you say it. So, we'll keep an eye on him because eventually, maybe we can get these on side with us. We'll see. In fact, how is this going? Have we. Have we. Done nothing. What are you doing? Why have you not got on the boat? You idiots. Well, that was slightly embarrassing. Now they're going. They're buggering off. Ah. My bad. We need more boats. Oh, for heaven's sake, where are all the boats gone? Here we go. 59 boats. Get over there. Oh, in fact, no, we don't need more boats. What am I doing? Boat capacity, 7,000. Get on. There we go. Right, I've sent them this time. That's what happens when you fight all these wars. You forget what the hell are you doing. Right, so let's storm these guys take them out. Um, it looks like Durus has decided not to do anything. He's just sitting and praying. Um, I don't think we're even going to have to raise any more people in order to take this land. Victory. Brilliant. And they're going to drop off very soon as well. Um, that's going well. I'm confident that we are going to win this war. It's 38% right now. We've actually crushed the invaders. Or should we say we've crushed the raiders? I don't think anyone would dare to invade our lands. They would know they would just end up with their head on a spike along with the rest of their family. So let's just go ahead and uh, take that as well. We've got ourselves another little prisoner. So who have we got this time? We have Laura, Laura, Laurathil. My words, a lot of these names sound like Cough medicine. Um, so let's see. Ransom. No, she's not even worth 10 gold to them. You can sit and you can rot in the dungeon. Meantime, what's happening, mother? Can we can we have a child? Would that be odds? Would it? Uh, I don't know. I know, I know. I married you by accident. I, I had no idea you were my mother. But now, now that you're there, there's not so big an age difference between us. You know, you're... Um, you're still, uh, 
she, oh, there we go, she's beautiful. There we go, I can look beyond the fact that you're my mother. That is not a problem. And she's lustful. Things are just getting a little bit weird now. So let's uh, not watch that. <clears throat> We're on the final part of the siege of uh, F F Furum. Um, so that's going to go shortly, as is the one over here in the city of Canoro. Uh, I think once we take these, we're just going to get into the big battle, hopefully take this land, and then we're going to have a look at Vassal Happiness and our court. Let's speed things up here, because otherwise we're just going to be waiting a long time. Here we go. As we're new to the mods, as you guys are learning along with me, obviously if I am butchering any names or I'm getting any of my facts wrong, let me know in the comments. Also, what I'm interested to know is, um, who should I be following? Characters of special interest, specifically characters within my realm, or possible enemies? That's what I want to know. I've had a quick look in some of the wiki links you guys have posted up. Bandits have raided, you kidding me? Yeah, I've had a quick look on uh, some of the links you guys were kind enough to post, so thanks very much, especially to the dev people. You're a lovely bunch. Um, but obviously, if I'm going to be butchering things, I would like to be corrected. Are you kidding me? Again? Where are you this time? My god, how many times are you going to do this? Do you, do you not know that I've got 300 men there? Um, yeah, that's not good. Come on, guys. You can do it. So let's get these three armies together. So this is the thing, how often do these dragon bowls of long ships come and who who the devil are they? Where did they come from? Where do you know? Are you guys? <gasps> are they orcs? Or green skin should I say? Victory. Oh here we go, they're marching. Let's get in a battle. I'm interested to see who these guys are. You better run. So the nobles of Nagaroth are too autonomous to accept being replaced as leaders. Ah, right. So that might be something we might want to do in the future. Ah, here we go. Everything's on minimum. It might be an idea after we take these to try and increase one of our authority levels. Because right now, our hands are tied a little bit. Have they just buggered? Are you kidding me? They've just buggered off. Oh well. Yeah, so so far I'm really enjoying this mod quite a lot. I'm glad I've chosen to play as one of the, uh, the Dark Elven races. Obviously we've had a couple of suggestions, so if you guys are playing along with the mod and you're supporting the team on the forums, there's a couple of others you can try. There is uh, a set of Wood Elves, which are over on the other side of the map, way over here somewhere. Sort of, I think it's in this sort of area. They might be near Bretonia. Um, there's the um, Vampire People, who I played as in the tryout as well. My prisoner! Love her, she's complaining about her dark cell. Do I seem like the sort of person who responds well to people who complain? I very much doubt it. And uh, she's going to complain no more. Goodbye. On the back. Are you kidding me? Who, who is this now? This is... A Norton fleet. So it is. So these guys must mainly just be raiders. That's it. I was going to make them friends. But now. Now they have an enemy. But mind you. I think I'm just a grumpy bastard. So I think everyone's my enemy. Yes, I've decided everyone altogether is my enemy. When you've got magic power of four, you can afford to have enemies. Um, raiders again. My god. Ah, they're not. They're not. Oh. <laughs> that will do. You can uh, go to them. Well, as soon as this is over, the better. I'm going to switch back to terrain for a moment because I like seeing all these lovely stripy lines. There you go, if you're just interested in having a look at direct vassals, there's a couple of uh, a couple of things that we're actually dealing with inside our realm itself. Obviously, when we have a look at it, we have one whole nation. What you can see is there's a lot 
like I mentioned before, there's six main cities. Oh. As you can see, there are six main cities. And what's this that's popped up? Fall of Wag? Sneaky Boy Gur. What? The Greenskins are a quarrelsome race. It's not under the leadership of a strong leader. If not, what? One that leads them to further battles against other races. They will degenerate into infighting. Right, okay, so they need a strong leader. The Greenskin Horde of Sneaky Boy. <laughs> it's been under such a weak leader and now pays the price. Left unchecked, the bosses of the tribes that have made up the Horde of Sneaky Boy Great Horde have degenerated into animosity and petty clan warfare. The Sneaky Boy Great Horde has collapsed entirely. Hooray. I like that. Um, I don't know what it means. Is it these guys down here? In uh, Black Sky or is it someone a bit different? Oh, they've launched an attack. Right, we're going to have to finish things off because I want this taken out before the episode ends. So let's go for Speedy Gonzales. <clears throat> oh, that was a bad idea. Shouldn't have done that. No, definitely shouldn't have done that. And the armies have engaged up north. We took that very quickly and it looks like they're running. It's 100%. Excellent. We're going to offer some peace. There we go, it has ended, and we have won. So we've taken some more lands. Let's just make sure everything goes as planned. There we go. So let's quickly call down all of our troops, and we're going to plan our next move. So, as we noticed a moment ago, we have got so many different parts of our empire. Let's have a quick look at vassals. Surprisingly, a lot of them are on side with us. Dexel appears to be our only issue, but he's not a very large one. Um, you're in prison. Are you in my prison? Whose prison are you in, my lady? Lord Gallus of Blacklight. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. So, we're in a fairly good state when it comes to that. What we do have to have a look at some time or another is just having a look at actually generating some claims because it's becoming fairly easy for us to get claims on people of the same race of us, but very soon we're going to be going into the lands of the north, which are held by these beautiful people. Um, and they're obviously a dark pantheon. We'll go into some more of that next time, because I think we're going to be able to declare some religious wars. There we go, get a couple of holy wars. We've also got Okai to have a look at. So each one of these we're going to come into conflicts with someone of different religions now. So things are about to get interesting. Chaos Undivided. Possibly we're going to look at them very soon. Possibly we're going to go north. I am inclined, in fact, to go for Kadai. And then maybe Gork and Mork. I think they will fear us next. So that's it for this episode once again guys. Thanks very much for all your support. The first video has been received outstandingly well. Um, thank you for the devs for all of your uh, kind words and for everyone who's enjoying this series. I simply ask you just to leave a thumbs up for the video, give it some publicity and uh, I'll put some more up this weekend. Cheers guys.